All right, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you a little Google search bar hack that you can use to find some hidden keywords and niches to help with your print on demand research. So what I'm talking about is something called the Google wildcard search, all right? Now, if you're familiar with blogging or any kind of like SEO keyword research from the web publishing side, you're probably familiar with this, but there's a crossover to print on demand and that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and we're gonna see if we can find some niches. So basically, all you need to do is open up Google. So this is a completely free method. Um, you guys know that I like free techniques, free tools that don't cost anything. Um, and this is completely free. All you need is literally the internet. So I'm using Google Chrome and I've opened up an incognito window because I don't want any of my previous searches to come up in the search results here. But basically, all the wildcard search is, is just the asterisk, right? It's just the asterisk symbol, okay? And what you do is you place this in to a search phrase and it tells Google fill in the blank. Anywhere that that star is placed, Google is going to fill in the blank. And where do they get the info to fill in the blank from? From other searches in their database, right? From the entire Google you know, algorithm, they're, they're gonna pull in what else is commonly searched in that phrase. So let me show you an example here, okay? So um, I, I did some testing here and was playing with it before I did the video and you know, Halloween's coming up. So I typed in star scary movie shirt. Now what you wanna do is you wanna roll your mouse over here to where the asterisk is. And when you click on that, now do you see here this bolded section? That's where Google is filling in the blank. So it's suggesting, let's watch a scary movie shirt. What's your favorite scary movie shirt? Friends scary movie shirt. Ray scary movie shirt, right? So it's this asterisk, that, that's the wild card. That's what Google is trying to fill in the blank for. So you can do it with a, a couple different methods. One technique that works really well is when you're combining two niches, okay? So if I put in coffee and star shirt, and then I go back and I click on the asterisk on the wild card, here it is. It's gonna give me the suggestions. Coffee and Jesus, coffee and chaos. Coffee and croissants, coffee and guns, coffee and hate, contemplation, creativity, motorcycle, okay? There's a bunch of niches there. Then you would take these, these niches and you would go type, in, in, type them into Amazon.com to see what kind of demand and stuff like that there is. Let's try a couple more here. I wrote a few down so you guys could get an idea. Yoga and wildcard shirt. We're going to click on the wildcard. So we got I do yoga and I drink tequila shirt. Um square neck mesh, yoga pants and shirt outfit, whiskey and yoga shirt, puppies and yoga shirt. Those are more examples here. Um, any of the big popular niches that you often find combined with other niches, those are good ones to kind of start your search with. So things like dogs, puppies, cats, yoga, coffee. Um, I did this one earlier, trucks and shirt. And we go and click on this. So this is giving me some specific phrases. I like big trucks and I cannot lie shirt. Cars and trucks that and things that go shirt. Cowboys trucks and country music shirt. Hunting bucks and driving trucks shirt. Those are very specific long tail keyword phrases that people are searching into Google. And if they're searching them into Google, I guarantee you that there's some people that are searching them into Amazon. You can even take it one step further and put in two wild cards. So I'll give you an example here. I'm gonna type in I love blank or wild card and blank or wild card shirt. Now I'm gonna go back and click on this and see what comes up. And it's telling me I love DND drinking and driving shirt. I love my wife, my country. I love you a bushel and a peck. Um, I love you, I fell in love and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, right? So you can experiment with this and try a couple different options here. Um, Here's another one that I that I found, future, right? Like future, you know, engineer, future whatever. Um, future blank shirt, future MILF, future DILF, future Delta, nurse, ghost. Any of these common phrases that you guys may um, come across in your research, type them in here to the wild card. Because say, for example, you find a niche that you like. Say, for example, you really, really like the, the yoga niche, okay? And then that's something that you want to dive deep into. Well, this is a free and quick, easy method to type in yoga and wildcard or wildcard and yoga. Or, you know, you got to get creative and kind of type some things in. This is another one that I stumbled upon that worked out, that, that showed some cool stuff. I typed in blank pun shirt, right? Like different types of puns. 
and it, I go and click on the wild card, and now it's going to tell me math pun shirt, science pun, food, chemistry, air, Christmas, animal pun, uh, bisexual pun shirt. There's a lot of different options here. So it's very simple, guys. Go on to Google, use an incognito window, type in this wild card phrase whenever you're trying to figure out that extra word and you want Google to suggest it to you. It's completely free. It only takes a few minutes. I've already stumbled on a couple niches just in the few minutes that I did the research on this video. This is a method that I think often gets overlooked, but can really be valuable, especially when you're a little bit stuck and you want to dive a little bit deeper. So I hope this video helps. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I got more videos coming soon for you guys. So thanks for watching. Later.